Good afternoon and welcome to the Inspiring Inking Facebook page. I'm Amanda Fowler. Today is Tuesday the 25th of May. If you're here, please say hello. Let me know where you're coming or joining us from. Um, I'm going to do a quick iPad check <laughs> to see if I'm live in the right place and all of those things. So let's just see. Ooh. Looks like I am. Good afternoon, Michelle. Joanne's here as well. That's good. Can you see and hear me okay? Good afternoon, Karen. She's saying hello to everyone, as is Michelle. Oh. Anne's here from Suffolk. Good afternoon, Lynn. Did your son get off for his vaccine today, Lynn? All, all well? Hello, lovely to see you, Jen. Good to see you too. Joanne says loud and clear. Yeah, some of the team have said they have to turn me down now <laughs> because the microphone's really good. That's cool, isn't it? Awesome. Hi, Pam. And Sue's here as well. Marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Okay, so um, I'm just going to give you a quick update of what's going on with me then uh, and you can tell me what's going on with you so if you've got anything to share at all any excitement in your world anything you've made or anywhere you've been or anyone you've seen anything tell us put it in the comments um, so I'm going to do a little bit of chatting about that I'm going to show you a few things that are coming up talk to you about some stuff that's coming up and then I have got a card to make hopefully I think I have I know I know I have but I'm just looking at the stuff that's in the basket and hoping I've got everything so let's see who else is here yeah Lynn's son's had his vaccination so that's good hello Margaret Chris and Angela are here. Apparently it's cloudy in Newbury. Good afternoon, Maureen. Lovely to see you again. Brilliant. Okay, so as many of you know, this is my holiday week. I'm officially on holiday. And yesterday, so um, let's start, let's wind back a bit. So over the weekend, Kim and her fiance Dom arrived and... Um, we went all wedding dress shopping yesterday and she has dress which is very exciting and obviously i can't tell you anything about it but she looks beautiful and i know every every mother says this um but yeah she does and it's a beautiful dress and it suits her so beautifully it's just amazing so we had a really good day yesterday it was a long day <laughs> there was lots of trying on of dresses um and obviously it takes quite a while you know they're not small pieces of stuff to get on and off and all of that so so we had we had a a nice day we managed to have a sandwich outside on a on a bench <laughs> because we wanted to get back and carry on um so yeah so we had a lovely day yesterday which was which was very cool um today is my busy work day even though i'm on holiday it's kind of weird but anyway so i'm working today and obviously i've got craft and chat tonight which is awesome but the turkey is out we are having christmas dinner tomorrow and then it's my birthday on thursday so yeah so we're having lots of exciting times which is really cool okay so Anne saying hello to everyone and different Anne is here as well brilliant hi Marlene lovely lovely to to see you so um yeah so I've been it's it's been a 
busy few days, it's going to continue to be busy. So do tell me what you've been up to. Who's been out? Out, out. Anyone been out, out? <laughs> We're actually debating whether or not to go out for dinner on Thursday. Down to the local pub. So, have I got my Christmas tree up? No, I haven't, Joanne, but in one of my lovely cupboards here, I have, <laughs> do you guys may remember these? My Christmas trees. So, my plan is to take these downstairs and put them on one of the tables and put the Christmas presents around it. That's my plan, um, but nobody else knows that yet. Because to actually get the Christmas tree out, that would be, that would, would be, yeah, it would just take forever. So, yeah. Joanne's been as far as the supermarket. Well, I said, this is what I said to Kim. So, yesterday, was the first time since the original lockdown last March, so March 2020, not most recent March, that I have set foot in a shop that wasn't a DIY shop, a garden centre, or a supermarket. I haven't been in any other kind of shop <laughs> in over a year. Crazy. So let's have a look. Oh, Anne's been to Pizza Hut. Yum. Oh, Marlene's been to Sushi Mania. Oh, I love sushi, Marlene. Margaret's had coffee and a cake with a friend this morning at a garden centre. Hi, Roz. Yeah, we did. We had a really lovely day yesterday, Roz. Thank you. And she's got a dress, so that's pretty amazing and Joanne went out for breakfast on Sunday exactly so that's good that's all very good okay so things that are happening in the world of stamping up if you want to join my team and I would love you to join my team you can pick currently 154 pounds worth of products for 99 pounds and you will join and um, get a discount on all of your products and you can come and hang out with me and the team on our other team Facebook page and we have events and fun things and all sorts of stuff. Um, you get to see catalogues early, you can go to events, it's just awesome. Um, so that special offer runs out at the end of May, which is on Monday. Obviously, it's a bank holiday and we've got a weekend coming up. So, and kind of I'm on holiday. So, <laughs> so if you are interested in joining, you need to email me, amandaatinspiringinkin.com and I can send you all the information. Um, but, you know, the so sooner rather than later, so that, you know, we don't get to the end of the month and everyone is rushing. So that's the first thing to say. The second thing is on Tuesday, so next Tuesday, the 1st of June, and I believe it's at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, but I will double check and when I send out the information later, I'll, I'll put the time on there. The items that are no longer in, that are in the mini catalogue, that haven't made it into the big catalogue, following me, <laughs> are retiring. And there will be discounts of up to 50% on some items. So I have a list, I'll be sending out that list on Friday so that you can kind of plan for your shopping if you want to on Tuesday. Now, what I would say is, if there is something that you absolutely must have, order it now, rather than run the risk of it being out of stock on Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, so that's exciting news. 
Now, normally, one mini catalog will finish and another one will start. We are actually having like a month gap. So the next mini catalog won't launch till August. So who else has arrived? Deborah from Alberta. Pauline saying afternoon. Jan saying hello to everyone. And um, Margaret's here. Good afternoon. Deborah, so two Deborahs today, which is brilliant. So that uh, retiring list or last chance list comes out on Tuesday and basically it's while stocks last so you know there could still be stuff here in two weeks time and it might all go that you can never tell what's staying and what's going um, there will be some bundle prices and that kind of stuff but you all should have the new book now so you should be able to tell whether things that you want are actually in the new book or not in the new book. So that's, so that's good. Oh, peppermint tea. It's very cool. So then we've also got something exciting launching on Tuesday. And it's this. Which is really cool, and I'm really excited. And you know me, I love a good box. <laughs> um, but I am going to show you what's in the boxes. But we are launching a new series of kits. And these are a bit different to the kits that we've had before. So they are not shown in the catalogues at all and they're online only and they're all while stocks last and the whole point of them is that new ones will you know they'll they'll sell um we, we, like i say we've got 10 to begin with as some of them sell out then we'll bring in new ones so it will be kind of a movable feast things will be changing and there are two price points for these kits. The first one is £11.25. And they are kits that don't involve any stamping at all. And they have, if they're card kits, they will have sentiments. It includes everything that you need. So um, all the glue, everything that you might possibly need and there are different card kits and i've got one of those to show you in a minute and so i think there are four of those that we're launching with and then there are another six kits that are 18 pounds and those kits include a stamp set a little ink spot so one of the one inch square ink spots and all of the products to make nine cards or some cards and boxes and then obviously once you've used all the consumables you still have a stamp set and a little mini ink pad as well so at 18 pounds the value is just incredible and i know that i have lots of new customers and new people watching all the time so if you are thinking that you just want to dip your toe in the world of stamping up then these kits i think are going to be perfect and for those of you like me that have friends who might be a little bit creative but aren't sure whether they actually you know are that creative or you've got teenagers to buy presents for or aunts or little nieces and nephews these kits are going to be amazing and for me the, the once i saw the kits my instant thought was when we go traveling again and i know i'm very you know i am thinking about this but when we go traveling again i can take one of these kits it's completely contained i'm not gonna i'm not gonna it's not gonna you know scatter everywhere i don't have to work out what i need to take but if I've got a few hours, I just want to chill out and do some making, then these kits are going to be perfect. 
and you know I do appreciate that a lot of us are going to be sort of traveling around and visiting friends and family um, at the moment so it's just a great thing so I think it is really these kits are amazing so I am going to show you them what I will do um, either on Friday or on Monday I haven't decided yet is I'll put all the links up and, and show you some pictures of these different things they are amazing so I think I'm going to turn the camera around I'm just going to actually work out which order I want to show you these kits in so that's that's that one so right I've got those okay I'm going to move my pad out the way and I'm going to flip the camera around and uh, we will uh, show you the kits. So hold on. Ooh. Let's just try that. Just make sure, put that in shot, make sure we're still the right way up. I I always worry when I flip the camera around because I think if I turn it one way, we actually go completely upside down. That's not very clever. Well, that wouldn't be very clever. Right. Okay. Let me move that along. Out of the way. A little bit. Okay. So. Um, these are really sturdy boxes really cool um this first kit this is a they're called like a, it's a non-stamping kit okay so there's no stamps included in this um there is full instructions you make three each of these cards so nine cards there's pictorial instructions. You've got measurements along here if you need that as well. And a list of all the contents. There are little videos as well if you want to look at those. They come with envelopes. And these envelopes have all got these pretty printed liners in. They're so lovely the scalloped edge so this is um this is an 11 pound 25 kit so the card blanks some are printed some are plain but you've also got these shaped card blanks as well you've got the sentiments in different languages so we've got french german and dutch obviously and english you've got some die cut laser pieces you've got foam pads you've got sparkly bits these are mini glue dots and some more laser cut pieces as well so for me that's an 11 pound 25 kit that is great value and like I said, I think as well for, for somebody who might be thinking about dipping their toe in the water of card making and paper crafting, that is an amazing kit. So, this is uh, one of the £18 kits. And this is called, ooh, this one is called, and this is, this is kind of the one I think everyone should get, and you'll see why for the stamps in a minute. This one's called Sentimental Rose Kit, and you make nine cards, and there is also an acetate box, so you can actually make like a gift box as well. And just be aware, on the, on the acetate, there's a film on the acetate box, okay? So it looks a bit milky, so you have to pull this off. So, 
so this is the stamp set now let me just let me show you so you've got a beautiful rose and a leaf and then you've got happy birthday thinking of you thank you congratulations for you happy mother's day and best wishes so if you have never joined in with my craft along because you know you haven't got any stamps then this would be a brilliant kit to get started with so not only do you have those stamps but you also get an acrylic block now our normal acrylic blocks are thicker than this but these are a really good size they're going to give you a good impression and it means that you can use all of your stamps and then the color of ink spot in this one is gray granite and you know in all of the different kits you get different stamping spots so they're the stamps so these three things to me that's well worth your 18 pounds before you even start looking at everything else that you've got you know the value is for me the value is here already but then you've got all your consumables so these are note card size so these aren't as big card card wise the card blanks themselves are printed so um the the cardstock it's very similar to our basic white cardstock but it is printed so it's not as heavy as our colored cardstock but it can't be because obviously they're they're printing on it you've got embellishments you've got more printed elements all of the envelopes have got these lovely liners in them so there's different colors don't know whether you can see that one but that's like a pool party and a yellow they're printed as well and then you've got sort of corrugated bits and splats and flowers and then this is a, like a band to go around your box in here you've also got baker's twine and um enamel dots and um foam pads and then glue dots again so that's what these are they're glue dots and then you've got um your sentiments to to go on there as well and you know you've got quite a few there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifteen sixteen seventeen so you've got seventeen so obviously in case you know you make a mistake so that is just so cool and then this one i think is one of my my other favorite ones <laughs> If you've got a, par a, a party coming up, kids' party coming up, or if you happen to know any sailors, this is really cool. So this is called You Are My Anchor. And you make, there are 10 cards and four boxes. And these boxes, so you've got all the sticky already on them. They're pre-printed. So these pieces fold in. So I, I'm thinking like party favours, that type of stuff. These bits fold in and then your belly band goes over the top. This is never going to work because I haven't actually glued it together. But I can try. Yeah, look at that. Kind of. But it makes really nice size boxes. Obviously, you could give these as gifts or you can put the cards in them as well but these are the stamps let me turn that that way so you can see so you've got a lighthouse and anchor a tiny boat a little anchor a starfish you've got like sea and birds and a, a wheel and a little heart 
and you've got useful things for you congratulations thanks and adventure awaits and then you've got you are my anchor and you are a lifesaver and ahoy i just think i mean it's just really useful stamps you've got the glue again you've got the block this time you've got pacific point so again this is an 18 pound kit and all i'm going to keep saying is <laughs> this is an 18 pound kit stamp set and block in your little ink pad is 18 pounds easy and then you've got so these are little embellishments to go on so they're the other boxes and then these are little three by three cards so and these are printed both sides so some of the cards are printed on one side some are printed on both sides like i said you make 10 of those you've got these pop out die cut elements as well and the look at these envelopes so they've got printing on the inside and the outside it's just so cool so cool look at that so all you've got to do is put your stamped image of your lighthouse on there and you've got baker's twine as well so that is just three of the kits and like i said there are 10 launching um you know i i was thinking about all the different things that we could do with these kits and you know i i love sending sending gifts to my friends kind of you know just popping them through the through the post and for me even if you you just bought one kit and you paid your postage that would be 22.95 and you know that's less than a bunch of flowers to send to somebody who's having a bit of a tough time and they've got you know stamps and and things to use again and again and again and they also can have a bit of creative fun so i am definitely going to be having a stock of these for um birthdays and and sending sending to my friends and things so i hope that you are as excited about them as I am. And um, I will sort of show you, once I've made up a few things and I will show you some, um, but yeah, I'm very excited about the kits. Okay, so um, today we are, we're making a card um, using the hand penned petals and actually, this is this is how far in advance I've got. Look, I've already stamped and die cut this flower here. Um, and the reason for that is because I want to show you the fold. Now, the fold for this card is called an arrow fold. And it was a new fold to me. Um, and it's funny, I've been paper crafting for over 30 years now. And it's very rare that I come across a card fold that I haven't done before. And Janet, who is one of my lovely regular customers, and I, I'm not sure that she's actually here live today. Um, if you are, say hello, Janet. Um, but Janet had sent me an email. We were chatting about uh, some, some different things. And she said, had I ever done an arrow fold? and um maybe i could share on craft and chat or one of my other classes so i did a bit of investigating and i've 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 learned how to do it i've worked out how to do it and i'm a little bit excited so um for the um embellishment bit i've got this flower and I'm using this paper. So this is from the hand penned um, paper pack. And I'm using this, this lovely side here. And this, this flower is going to go on the top. It's just really, really pretty. But. <laughs> oh, right. So my actual original sample with my measurements is downstairs. So 
I'll be back in a moment when I've gone and got it because I don't want to guess the measurements and you'll understand why in a minute. I'll be back. Okay, so I will, this isn't a finished card, but this will just show you the shape of the card. So this is what an arrow fold card looks like. Now, can you tell me <laughs> what did I do wrong on this card? You will be able to sell in a second, but it stands. It does stand, but it's, I've got to glue it, but it, it does stand like this, but it's so pretty. It's a really lovely, lovely fold. And the inside has got the, the patterned paper on the inside as well. So I'm going to show you, has anyone worked out what, I've, what I did wrong on the paper? <laughs> Tell me. But, so when I, when I was looking and, and seeing how to make this, I wanted to make sure that the border all the way around the edge was even. So the measurement for the paper is slightly different to what you might see if you you know look elsewhere so what i've done is what i always try and do for you guys and that is to make it easy so my pen yes margaret it is upside down so I am making a card blank, which is eight inches by five and three quarter inches and score it at four inches. Okay, so that's my card blank. So I've done that already. And then the patterned paper piece So the patterned paper is three and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches and you want the same in white as well. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that. Hi Karen, thanks for joining us today. So when you're cutting your patterned paper, make sure that you get it in the right orientation. Because this card is landscape, you want to make sure that your short edge um, is the right way round. It's that's just important. So it is five and a quarter okay so if i just show you on this um card layer here so normally a layer for this size card would be a quarter of an inch longer and that was the thing that um on some of the instructions that I looked at that was the thing that people were missing 
so what happens is because you're cutting twice along here so there and there you need this piece of paper to be quarter of an inch shorter okay so that's why this measurement is really really important okay now in order to cut it in half just bring the um, edges together and just squeeze it a little bit and just make a little fold now to make sure that your paper is not upside down <laughs> make sure that your fold is if you've got a directional paper your fold, the fold that you've put in is at the bottom and we're actually going to do the same with this little whisper white piece now equally you can you can uh, put a pencil line on there if you want to yeah so we're going to mark halfway and cut into triangles so bring back the trimmer And all I'm going to do is go from that little score line there to the top point, top corner. And then again the same. So from that point to that point. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So from that score line to that point, and again from that point to that point. Okay, so that's giving you your triangular pieces to stick down. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm using the main triangle and these two pieces and then just the white piece to go on the inside of the card which means I've still got two white triangles that I can use on a different card so that's those and now we've got this and if I show you the scoring on here again what we're doing is we're marking halfway along and we're scoring from the halfway point to that center score line and then we're marking halfway along these short edges and again going to the center point now it's easiest to do this um, using a pencil but what I tend to do is I use my scoreboard and I just make a little indentation with my scoring tool. So this is five and three quarter inches. So I know the halfway point is two and seven eighths. So on the card blank mark at two and seven eighths of an inch score to center so i've marked it obviously you can mark in pencil and then hopefully the camera's going to be able to pick up but I've got this black line running down the centre of my scoreboard on the six inch line. So I'm just going to get the little indentation that I've made. I'm going to hold my score tool and line up the centre score line on that black line. And I'm just going to score. And then I'm going to do exactly the same for the other side. Now, if you don't have this type of scoreboard, 
put it on your next list <laughs> because it's so cool i love it i use it all the time um if you've got a different type of scoreboard then just again make your center line at six inches you can do this on the trimmer and all you would do is you would line up your point there with the track and there with the track as well okay so it is quite straightforward to do with a trimmer it's just you will find that i always always use my scoreboard it's just what i use all the time so i just i i personally find it easier so that's the first two score lines we now if you look at this one we need to make this score line here so this score line is halfway up from the edge to the center. Now that's four inches. So I know I've just got to make a little indentation at two inches on both sides. And then I can go from that little indentation to that center point again and the little indentation to the center point again and that is all four score lines and that is as fancy as this fold gets it's or as difficult so this is a moving card it's really important that you use your bone folder and reinforce these score lines to make sure that they are folding exactly the way that you want them to. The cardstock is fairly thick and you, you, we're going to actually glue it all down in a minute. So it is important that you make sure that that is very well reinforced. Okay. So the way that you make the arrow is you fold the triangles in and then you fold the triangles back out again and that makes your arrow. So when you come to glue, put the glue here on the center triangle first. and fold that down on itself and fold that one back and again fold that one down and fold that one back and just give it a second or two because it's cardstock it really will want to ping back so it is important that you put the glue on and, and hold it then what we've got to do is we've got to put glue on here to pin these down but look at where that line is going. You don't want to end up with glue everywhere that you don't want it. So put glue along this edge and just kind of keep checking to make sure that you're not going over the edge that you don't want to go on. So I'm just gonna hold that down just for a second. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now that is is all working well. I'm going to reinforce this score line here so that then the card will stand up properly. And now all we've got to do is put the decorations on. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the patterned paper on the, the front triangle. And you should have a little narrow border all the way around. And that's why that paper measurement is so important. 
and then I'll lift that up and put the patterned paper triangles in like so and then the white piece can go in and again what we've got is um you've got a little border all the way around and the brilliant thing about that is obviously then you've got somewhere to write which is so important when you're making a card so that sits like that and then we've got this lovely flower here so I'm going to get my foam pads bits of foam pad everywhere And the thing that I love about this fold is you've got this definition here with these pieces um, as a kind of sticking out. So it is really cool. So I'm going to put that kind of sideways on there and I've got a little happy birthday to go over the top as well. Okay, so Jan's uh, just saying goodbye to everybody. She's got an appointment to get ready for. Roz is loving this fold and I am just having a moment here because... I'm looking at the panels and they look slightly off center. I will, I, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to get my ruler out in a second. I might have put my wrong measurement in. I was checking the comments on um, YouTube the other day and um, if you're watching this on YouTube or on my blog on the replay, thank you so much. And obviously, if you are watching a replay, then you can't see the comments as they come in live from Facebook. And obviously, I do try and read them all out. But quite often, the comments that I get is thank you so much for being cheery and happy and sharing giggles. And by that, I'm guessing that they mean that I've, I've messed something up. <laughs> and, you know, I've done something wrong somewhere along the line, which is fairly normal. But I love this fold. I love this fold. But if you're looking at it the way I'm looking at it at the moment, it looks lopsided. Can you see? this piece and this piece are different sizes so i think when i measured my halfway i messed it up so if you look at this one can you see these two pieces are even on this one they are not even <laughs> Debbie's saying it's still a beautiful card. Bless you, Debbie, but it is no good to anybody if it's not right. So, let me get my ruler and see what I've done wrong. Because, you know, I've clearly done something wrong. I think it's my maths, actually. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I suppose that card blank could be the wrong size. No. So it is. So Deborah's saying that she's made it as as I went along and hers has come out even. Okay. Right. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do it again. Maybe I just had something wonky. Maybe my paper was wonky. I don't know. So... Yes, I know. It's not, it's not seven eighths. So, it's not seven eighths. It's fifteen sixteenths. Or in half. Okay. So, you can just fold that in half. And just put a little mark there. It is, I was a sixteenth out. So it's fifteen sixteenths. Okay, so for those of you, and let me see. So my card blank is five and three quarters. So half is the line before three inches can you see there the small line so that is one two three four five six seven that's seven eighths that's wrong honestly i'm confusing myself now So it can't be that. So five and a half is three quarters. So it is right. I don't think it is, Debbie. I think I'm I'm confusing myself. Thank you, Karen. Did it go wrong when I did the last fold? Should have been two inches and two inches. So, did, yeah, so could it be that? I don't know. Yes. That's two inches. Yes, Sue. It's <laughs> Sue Vasey. It's Sue has, has got the right answer. So here we go again. this was a new fold to me didn't I so it's seven eighths and then it's two inches on each side and it's the two inch mark that I messed up on this one so we will get there I will show you because this will make more sense yeah yeah, so it wasn't the bottom mark. It wasn't the first mark that I made a mistake on. It was the second. 
Karen said she's used the trimmer and hers was fine. So, yeah, it is just... It was this side fold here. Okay, so look. Da, da, da. That's even. And that is not even. Right, so... I'm just going to recap what I've just done and then I'm just going to finish this card off correctly because I don't want a wonky card. I can't put a wonky card on my website, can I? Well, I can, but it would be better if I had a card that wasn't wonky. So let's, <laughs> let me just glue this. Then I'll talk you through it again and then I'll cut the patterned paper and fix the card I love it that you're all crafting with me thank you and thank you for checking my measurements as we go along I hope this isn't gonna bode not well for craft along tonight I will go and double check all my measurements in a minute okay so let's just run through this again so you've got your standard card blank you've got two pieces of pattern paper which i'm just going to cut in a second and you're going to cut that into a triangle all of that was fine the confusion is or the confusion was you mark a point halfway along the bottom and halfway up the sides and you put in two score lines. And the reason this card has got more cardstock here and less here is because I measured wrong on one of the sides. Just in case you weren't clear that I stuffed it up. <laughs> Hooray! It's okay. It's only paper. Right. So five and a quarter by three and three quarters and then we just pinch fold it just because it's easier obviously you can use a pencil and a ruler and then we are just going to cut that and again So that's my center triangle. And then I'm doing the same with the patterned paper. And just remember with the patterned paper, make sure you pinch at the bottom. And then your paper won't be the wrong way up. And I am just going to turn it because it's less busy pattern on this side. So that's that one. And that one. And I'm just going to dismantle my flower off the front of this card. And I will tell you how you can fix this actually. Because it can be fixed. So you could just trim that off a little bit. I am just going to redo it. So, so there we go. So that is the first piece. And then we've got these two pieces coming on the sides. And again, just make sure you've got a nice little border all the way around. 
<laughs> Margaret says, well done for sorting it out. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when you're making something, if it doesn't look right, generally, it's not right. So that there is something that you need to fix. Sometimes I can see it straight away and sometimes I just have to put it to one side and actually go back to it and fix it later. You can't always fix it straight away. But doesn't that look so much better? Because it's nice and even now. So there we go. So I'm just going to put the last few bits of, or new bits of foam pad on there. And then we will get it sorted out. Hooray! <laughs> we got there in the end. We did get there in the end. So there you go. So lovely florals going on there. And it does stand beautifully. So it's um, with all cards like this, do, like I say, do make sure that you've reinforced your score lines to make sure it will stand. So I am so pleased. Right, I want that to stay down. So here's a little tip for you. <laughs> Just going to put a dimensional in there for now just to hold it down so it will take a nice picture like that how's that oh interesting i've got quite a lot of glare on that stamp set bear with me everybody while i just sort that out because i've moved my lights again Is that any better? Is that any better? I don't know. No, maybe not. We'll see. Hopefully that has helped. There we go. I'll just I'll just hold that. I think that is a little bit better. But so long as you have got the idea of this fun fold, that is the important thing. So thank you so much for joining me today. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you're going to make some of those cards as well. That would be very cool. Anne says that she loves the fold and she'll be making some of those. Thank you, Joanne and Margaret. Thank you, Gillian. Debbie's saying this, this patterned paper and the stamp set are must-haves. Yes, they are. I love them a lot. So I know that I will be seeing lots of you tonight. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I have a Facebook group called the Inspiring Inkin Crafting Corner. It's a Facebook group that anybody from around the world is welcome to join. Each month I teach a class in there and that class is happening tonight. It's a class that you can earn for free if you're one of my customers or you can actually purchase a kit to join in with the class. But I'm afraid only if you're in the UK, Austria, the Netherlands, France or Germany, and I can send you a kit out. Um, but do join the group, come and hang out with us and share all your creative makes. 
we are a group that celebrate all crafting so although um, I'm a paper crafter uh, and a stamper mainly I also do lots of other crafts as do many of the lovely people in the group so if you have made something or you want to see it and uh, it's a really supportive and friendly group so do come out and hang out with us there all of the products that you've seen today are available in my online store if you pop over to www.inspiringinkin.com you will be able to click on the shop now link if you're watching on the replay either um, on youtube or my blog i'm afraid you won't be able to see the comments but I have tried to read them out as we go. And um, if you're watching the replay on Facebook, thank you. And um, you should be able to see the comments. Okay, I hope to uh, see you all later or we'll see lots of you later. If not, then have a great week. And uh, it will be, I'll be back here and it will be June. So I will be back here next Tuesday, the 1st of June at 2 o'clock. Till then, I'll see you then. Goodbye.